Hey, this is Steve. Do you have a Travado 59K or KL? And you don't really like the airline table? Well, if that fits you, stay tuned because we're going to show you how to take the thing apart. <laughs> it is the infamous airline table if you don't like the way yours operates we're going to show you how you can take out the sliding tabletop which will then enable you to replace it with something that you prefer maybe a double folded one maybe just a different color so here's the operation flip the top up slide it all the way up bring it down there it is and you can close this so you end up with two surfaces not certainly not large enough for someone to use as a table for two and just large enough to use for a laptop if you need to use a mouse you're kind of out of luck unless you might Unless you happen to be left-handed with your mouse use, then you could set it right here. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the two blocks which keep the tabletop from sliding all the way to the bottom. There's one on the left and then there's another one here on the right. These use a square-headed type of Torx screw. I'm going to take out both of these screws. There we go. It's out. Now all we have to do is take out the one on the opposite side. Once we have the stops out, the stops were the two things we pulled out from in here. Once those are out, we're going to take the tabletop and we're going to let it go back inside its cavity. Why do we do this? We do this so that we can remove this portion of the case. That is required for us to be able to get the tabletop out. Two pocket screws here that we're going to take out and then as I mentioned earlier we have we have two on the sides that we have to deal with as well. So that's our next step. Got one, now we're going for the next one. And then we'll get the two on the sides. Then this piece will come out. Okay, now with all four screws out, we, we gently remove this piece. It's a bit of a snug fit. We might not have to remove it all the way. So let's, well, let's do it. There we go. So here's what we're looking at. You can see there's on each side, there's one pocket screw. And then on the uh, outside edge, there are two. Now we're gonna remove the handle. There are two Phillips head screws, one on the top and another on the bottom. And then we have three other screws you can see the small Phillips head screws actually 
maybe four. Yep, one, two, three, four. We're gonna have to remove them. In order to move this board over and take this sliding tabletop out. And more pocket screws. These pocket screws are taken out now. They're gonna be here. So hoping we can take this one out, move this back just enough to disengage the top. Okay, Steve, how'd you do it? Well, I took my trusty little Swiss Army knife using the nail file slash screwdriver and over on this side, the side where the handle is, I slipped it between the roller and the pocket in which the roller sits and gently pulling up I got it to a point where it just slipped right out. And so now we have full access. Woohoo! Well, that's it for today. Hope you found something in this video that was useful or at least entertaining. If so, give it a thumbs up. The more thumbs up, the more likes a video receives, the higher it goes in the search engine, and the easier it is for other people to find it. I want to thank you for watching. See you next week.